Good morning. Welcome to Junior Church. We're glad you guys are all here. We have switched our theme to the fruits of the Spirit. So we're going to work with that again this, mo this morning. So we're going to start with Happiness is the Lord. We didn't switch our songs because in a couple weeks we're going to start Christmas songs. <laughs> okay. Elizabeth, you can't do this one. Uh -huh. Do you want to help her if you don't fight with her? <laughs> <laughs> you can all help her? No, yeah. you don't have to say it. If she's up there, no. <laughs> We're just going to say it. I think it was much. <laughs> okay. okay, happiness is the Lord. Everybody's happy this morning. Let's clap our hands. For Thanksgiving and the time of being with family and back at school, all those things. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this day and for your blessings to us. We thank you for this time to be together in church. Lord, we thank you for all that you're doing for us in this time. Lord, we ask that you would be a Susie and help her in the time of sharing today. Lord, help us to hear what she has to say. Strengthen our hearts, Lord. You know what all we face and that you would guide our life and protect us in thy name. Amen. Okay, thank you. Okay, we've been talking about the fruits of the Spirit. What was the first fruit? Is it these fruits here? Is that what I'm talking about? No. no. These are just representatives. The first fruit of the Spirit is joy. Can I eat them? No, okay. They'd be rotten by the time we were done this. Thing, <laughs> no, these guys are just artificial. They look real, don't they? They do. They do. Okay. So the first fruit of the Spirit is joy. God wants us to be happy. And do you know that sometimes you'll have difficult times in your lives? God doesn't want us to have a long face all the time. God wants us to be happy. God wants us to have peace. Oh dear, that's a hard one. God doesn't want us to fight with our brothers and our sisters. He wants us to live in peace. God wants us to be patient. Who's patient? Oh boy, no. look at that, Mom. You have a whole bunch of patient kids. It's me that's lacking patience. <laughs> okay. Patience means when you want your dinner right now and Mommy's not ready and you're hungry and you wait patiently while Mommy finishes getting Are ready. You? That's being patient. So now, are you still patient? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So God wants us to be patient. Today we're going to learn God wants us to be patient. Are we kind to each other? Depends no. It's what? Depends on food I'm in. <laughs> okay. Well, God wants us to be kind no matter what mood yeah. we're in. Does God want us to slap our brother and sister when they won't give us a toy that we want? No. We shouldn't do that. God wants us to be kind to each other. He wants us to be giving. And then the next one is goodness. Having the gift of goodness means God can depend on us to be honest, to repent of our sins, and to turn from our bad ways. We also need to try to act this way to others. Though their actions, through our actions, they can see that fruit of the Spirit in us. They can see the goodness. 
So the fruit of the Spirit, what we've done so far, is joy, <coughs> peace, patience, kindness, and goodness. And next week we'll talk about some more. So casting every care upon <laughs> him, for he cares for you. Come on up, try it. Okay, casting every care upon him, for he cares for you. Steps. And as they neared, he opened his eyes. 
and saw it was a Levite. I'm going to take your priest off. And it was the pre Levites were the servants in the temple. Levites spend their life teaching people God's rules. Oh, he thought, surely the Levite will help me. But the Levite came over and he bent over him and looked at him and got back up. And he walked right on down the road. That wasn't very nice, was it? He Was he being a good neighbor? No. No, he wasn't. Once again, the man heard sounds of another traveler approaching. He lifted his head and opened his eyes one more time, and he saw the traveler was a Samaritan. Oh, the man laid back down with a groan. The Jews and the Samaritans had been enemies for years. It was certainly no use expecting this man to help him. But the Samaritan went over to the injured man and soothed his wounds with medicine and bandaged him. And refusing to leave him lying on the side of the road, the Samaritan lifted him up onto his own donkey and took him to an inn. Can you put up the inn, Chloe? And he took him to an inn. And when morning came, the Samaritan could tell that the injured man was still not well. And he couldn't continue his journey. So the Samaritan couldn't stay any longer. So he gave the innkeeper some money and said, take care of this man. And if it costs more than this, I'll pay you the rest when I come back this way. At the end of this story, Jesus asked the lawyer this question. Which of these men do you think was a good neighbor to the wounded man? The lawyer said, the one who felt sorry for the man and helped him. And Jesus said, go and follow his example. Boys and girls, God wants us to help others. When you see someone who is hurting and having a problem, what do you do? Do you walk right on by or do you go back and help them and give them comfort? I hope you go and help them because there are a lot of people who are hurting in this world. We live in a very sinful world and people are wanting us to reach out to them. They're wanting a friend. So this week, if you see someone in trouble, can you help them? Okay, you go over, maybe your friend to school is just needing somebody to talk to. Or maybe they're needing a hug. So maybe you could help somebody this week. And tell them that Jesus loves them. And he's wanting them to come to him. Okay, so remember, one of the fruits of the Spirit is goodness. And let's sing one more. The butterfly song, Josiah. Okay, who hasn't helped me? You haven't helped me? Raymond? Raymond? Gregory, do you want to help me? No? You help me? Oh, of course. <laughs> okay. We need one more. You're right here. One more. Okay, come on. Oops, oh, sorry. Okay. Move over a little bit, so you're standing over next There we go. Okay. First one. If I were a butterfly, I thank you, Lord, for giving me wings. And if I were a robin in a tree, I thank you, Lord, that I could sing. And if I were a fish in the sea, I'd wiggle my tail and I'd giggle with glee. But I just thank you, Father, for making me, me. Okay, this way. Cause you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me Jesus and you made me your child. And I just thank you, Father, for making me, me. Okay, now we're going to be an elephant. If I were an elephant, I thank you, Lord, by raising my trunk. Okay, I'm going to take a
Okay, ready? All right, we're glad that you have joined us today and we will see you next Sunday.